Hey hey, welcome back to the channel, it's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video we are going to take a close look at some GUM 4 IR light guns. I've reviewed all kinds of versions here on the channel from the old school Sega Saturn to the PlayStation versions, but nothing beats an old school light gun. But we can't use them anymore on a flat screen television, you need to have a CRT most of the time, but GUN 4 IR has a solution for that. So let's talk about it, how cool it is. This product was been sent in by the company that makes the gun for IR. I must say that I find it a quite interesting way they made this because we do have like high quality light guns but with new awesome features that we can use on our PC. Gun for IR is created by GB over in Japan and the distribution will be done by Ray from RPEG Electronics from the US. But before we even can use the light guns, we need to do a little bit of assembly and connecting it to the PC. So the first thing that we need to do is, of course, assemble the LEDs that we need to place on the monitor. The LEDs have been already pre-soldered, so you don't need to do anything like that. It's just more like putting it on your monitor and plug it in with the USB with Barrojack connection cable. For this video, I'm using the 27-inch monitor from Philips. You can basically use all kinds of monitor. If it's an old Dell monitor or you want to use a 40 inch television, it's no problem whatsoever. I did get some double sided high quality tape, but I'm using the poster clays because of the form factor of my monitor. It was not like super easy to put them on here. So I basically got these poster clays. I don't know if you can buy them in every single country, but they are like dirty cheap. They can position the sensors perfectly. But the poster clays is just one of those epic ways. You can put them on your monitor super easy and they don't fall off that easily. But again, there are many ways to put them on your television. So let's go with the flow and let's take a close look at the light guns today. For my setup, I have chosen for the Asus GR8. This is basically an i5 6th generation with a GTX 1060. It's not the most powerful device, but it is powerful enough to run up to PlayStation 3. So it's going to be a lot of fun. The first light gun that we're going to take a close look is the Nemco G gun and I really love this one. This is pure nostalgia for me. This is the first one I basically got in my collection. We did have like the gray one, not this black version. It's an absolutely great piece of technology in combination with the new gun for IR. You can see that we do have like the option to use a 12 volt power supply, just a typical power supply that you need to plug in for the solenoid. Otherwise that part will not work. But again, like that we're going to try out with some gameplay. So let's plug it in. And let's have some fun, because the cell is are pretty damn cool. But how about the software itself? There are so many different ways to play, especially on the PC. We have like arcade games like back in the day, but also we have like the pretty damn cool games from the game systems like an NES up to the PlayStation 3. There are so many ways to play and you can bring them all together with Launchbox. Absolutely great piece of software that you can pick up for a lifetime license for not a lot of money. But again, it will bring this thing to the next level. So with the lifetime license, we do get the big picture mode and with the big box or big picture mode, I love to call it, you're going to get like a very nice interface. Here we got computer, arcade, even techno parrot, you're going to get this own, let's say subject and here we can choose our game that you want to play. Pretty damn cool. There's a lot of messing around with it to set it up, but big box makes it so much better or better than lunch box. And it gives this thing like a cool like experience, like back in the day in the gates, only now with two light guns from gun for ir and some cool software and a good PC, we have so much stuff we can play. So let's try a couple of them. So where we do have like the solenoid and the rumble combination, we don't have the solenoid in the G-Con 2. So when it comes to the quality, he is using the original quality and even improving the internal part for the gun for IR. And what I like about this, that we do have like the action reload button at the bottom. I personally really also like the design of it. It is just lighter and you can just feel it even with the improvements of the internal parts replaced. It still weighs not a lot and it's also a little bit smaller. So for some people it will be more comfortable. No power supply needed. You just plug it in and it works. But let's do a quick comparison with the original one. The other light gun I am having is the version number 2 for the PlayStation 2. I also I got the original one and when you're going to do a quick comparison you don't see like a lot of differences but also when it comes to the weight I personally really like this light gun in general and that's just a form fact the way how compact it is. Also I'm going to grab my weight scale to show you what's the difference in weight but already like from hand I can feel this thing is still very weight compared with the original one. Also this one this light gun has been provided with the special wide lens so we have like best accuracy for smaller but also big screens. 
Okay, so let's check out the original light gun. This one was 215 grams. And with the modified one, you can see like there is even a very minor difference between the two light guns. So I've been playing out with the G-Con one. Now try the other version, G-Con 2. And of course, it's absolutely a different experience because it's way, it just feels way different in your hand. We have like different buttons to reload, use all the extra settings. And again, like it's so much lighter than the other one. Okay, so next up, I want to try a Wii game with a G-Con 2. So in this game, everything will be automatically, if you're going to pull it out of the screen, you can basically reload. And also on the Dolphin emulator, this works perfectly. A really cool game to play. Another classic is House of the Dead number two. It's a lot of fun playing with it. I really don't mind that there was no recall. Just the rumble is more than enough. Another thing I really like about this light gun that we have like the button at the bottom that you can just reload. And it's so much easier to play this way. All right, so let's try the alien game. But this time we're going to do it with two freaking controllers at the same time. And when you're going to play both controllers, yeah, I must say like I really like the G-Con. It's so comfortable in hand. But the only thing what I'm having is like with the Jeep on one, we don't have like this sound noise. I mean, it gives like an authentic feeling to this. And with this, we do have like the vibration function. The vibration function is very nice. It doesn't make any noise, but it does give like a completely different experience. But when you're looking at this website, you can see that there are all kinds of different versions. Beside all the karaoke machines making, that's pretty damn awesome. But when you're looking at the light guns, we have all kinds of, let's say, special modifications. And there are even people like asking to modify other cool arcade guns. For example, like the Rambo ones. He also sent me some samples of his work. He has like this custom made light guns. For example, from the Terminator game, they can just modify and play. So if you like to have something different, he can just make it. It's pretty damn cool. And maybe in the future we can review it. All right, guys. So we have spoken about the Memco gun in my previous video. I would say that check it out if you like this light gun feature of the gun for IR. Nevertheless, there were so many ways to play and they make a lot of cool uh, custom stuff. Yeah, this gun, I must say that I really love the rumble function. I'm missing absolutely the piston of recoil in the gun. But again, like the recoil, I do have this real arcade. It is like a cheap knockoff. If you're looking at the original, let's say arcade one, they're also making that. I would love to check it out here on the channel, but it is also very expensive, way more expensive than the other version I'm reviewing here. So yeah, let me know in the comments, what do you think of the gun for IR? <laughs> Would you like pick it up or do you think it's completely too expensive for your taste? Because this is like custom stuff, uh, like high quality products. And with a high quality, there also comes a very big price tag. But in the end, you do have like a lot of fun with it. I had a lot of fun making this video. If you like it, would say this video and stuff like everything arcade related. Let me know in the comments and not to forget, subscribe to the channel. Hit a little bell, give this video a like if you liked it. If you didn't like it, you can dislike it, whatever. And it would be great to see you in the next video.